I'm uh, Dr. Joanne Nichols. I'm here in the education department, assistant professor. Uh, I teach teachers. And uh, a few years ago, I did a conference presentation on developing online courses and online work. And it dawned on me that it was really good to develop online things because it makes you consider the student as an individual in front of the screen. And then you can bring that thinking and bring those further developed activities into your classroom and your face-to-face -face work. So I was really trying to put my money where my mouth was, uh, doing an online course and the same course face-to-face -face the, in the same semester, and that's happening this semester. And so I had things that were working well, like um, little videos that are done on Camtasia that you download from our wonderful online resources uh, site. And this one is before you start the course. Uh, I have another one that shows uh, just me narrating the different documents that they need to do this complex assignment. And I found that that was really helpful if I had these little videos for the online group because then in the face-to-face -face group, if somebody said, oh, I'm really struggling that or I was absent, uh, I, you know, can you go over that again? I have this narrated video. So now that's come in really handy for snow days because the online work uh, can be that thinking about adapting things to online that you're also using in your face-to-face -face work is uh, really coming in handy. Uh, for example, the snow day that we had uh, involving Groundhog Day, in my online class, I would have had them do uh, these, we call it a paper plate story. Uh, this is Georgie Groundhog, and you cut it out as you're telling the story. And uh, here's his shadow, and I ended up putting the pattern for this on the discussion board and having the students in the on, online uh, do this, uh, take a picture of themselves, take a selfie, uh, attach it to their discussion board, and then talk about the different domains for the children uh, that they're teaching that this would fulfill in the different standards and teaching practice. So that came in really handy. It was something that I would have done in class that I transferred to online. Now here's something that I figured out that came in really handy for snow days and that kind of adaptation. And that is that the Camtasia videos are terrific. However, you, the student can't control the speed of the content being offered and you can't adapt them, correct them. Once it's done, it's done. I started doing narrated PowerPoints and the difference is that if you have your PowerPoint just up on the on how you would normally do it, and you go over here to slideshow, here's a little deal that helps you record the slideshow. So you can record from the beginning, or here's what's cool, you can record from the current slide. So say I'm adapting this PowerPoint for students to use as a snow day activity. I can have, for example, do narrate each individual slide so that they would have a slide. I can say, can you think about this, write down an answer before you go to the next slide. And then if it's not applicable to that snow day, I can just re-record this one slide or add a slide after the video is all completed. So I don't have to re-narrate the whole video that I might have from my online course or my, I might already have saved. I only have to re-narrate one slide at a time to adapt it for snow day use or perhaps for a special use for a student. Uh, and I found out that that for this purpose, for just that adaptation is just really useful. 